Hello, I'm, I'm happy and really very proud to be speaking to you on the occasion of this inaugural Ebert Lecture, which is going to be given here at the Ebert Center. So I have to tell you that when it comes to Roger Ebert and myself and all matters related to him, I, I can't help but uh, speak personally, because Roger was the, the very first person very early on in my life as a filmmaker uh, to call attention to my work. It was 1968, I think. And over the years, he's championed my movies. He wrote and spoke about them with great care and insight and criticism and was always there, really, for me when I needed support of one kind or another. I suppose, you know, it goes without saying that the both of us, he and I, shared a great love and deep reverence for, for the art of cinema, that cinema of the past, the present, and, and the future, whatever that may be. And like me, Roger cared about the history of cinema and its, and, and its preservation. He cared about its place in our culture, in the culture of the world. He insisted that it be accorded the respect it deserved. Now, if he had lived to see the current situation, which is really a devaluation of cinema and on, on streaming platforms to the level of, quote, content, unquote, that's what it's become for the most part, the truly, also the really, really disgusting spectacle of Rotten Tomatoes and cinema score. Uh, I mean, I think he would have been railing against it and throwing the money changers out of the temple. Yeah. He cared that deeply, just as I do. But that's not just about us. It's about the cinema. And uh, the fact that it not only merits our respect, but it demands it. For Roger, for me, for so many others here today and beyond, it has been a central and revelatory presence in our lives. It's changed our lives over and over again. And I thank you, Chaz, for inviting me to participate in this event. And I thank you for doing such a, a great job of preserving and honoring the memory of a man we both knew and loved, a man who really made a difference in the history of our art form, Roger Ebert. I thank you.